Unfortunately, I think that's all the time we have. I'm going to give uh, Chris uh, a microphone. Would you like to share your last word with the Korean audience? Thanks. Thank you. It's really cool to be here, really. And um, uh, afterwards, when we walk out the door, we've got some time to talk to these guys. Is that okay? Um, sure, although we all do right. have to go out for dinner. Okay. Anyway, I'll do my best to be here. Um, can I just, really quick question, just put up your hands if you're interested in car design. Anybody out there? One, two, three, a wow. few of you, okay? All right, I just want to address those people in the audience who are kind of interested in thinking about going into car design. Right. Car design is different. Car design is not industrial design, but with an extra curve. Car design is not uh, architecture, but with some wheels on it, okay? Car design is something entirely different. It is an incredibly passionate affair. It goes beyond an enormous amount of what you would call the bounds of rationality. However, I'm a little bit worried when I get notes and letters from young people who say, I have to be a car designer. I have to be a car designer. I just, my whole life, I have to be this. On the one hand, that's good. It's good to have a focus and a vision. I think that's good. But that's not the way you're going to achieve your dream. Okay? That's not the way you're going to achieve your dream. You have to work hard, put in all your hours, I'll just give you as an example, to learn how to play the piano with classic music, okay? Draw cars, whatever, right? But only when you've gone to a certain point where you can begin to let go, you can begin to release that need to do this car, I have to need to do this car. Only when you can release from that will you begin to do cars good enough to get into the industry. So, go through an intensive process, keep your focus, keep your vision, but know that your real achievement comes when you're good enough, you're, you feel comfortable enough with just getting those wheels out of your system. You've done your 10,000th wheel, you can do this, and now begin to let go. And at that point, that's when all those other courses you took in humanities, in science, in religion, in dance, in theater, that's when those will begin to come through you and you will begin to do cars which are at a much, much higher level than you ever did before. So please, keep your focus, keep your vision, but know that just that alone will not get what you, what you want. Well, that's inspiring. Well, I hope that today's discussion has been as inspiring to you as it has been to me uh, and to the two mentors and coaches who've taken extra time to share with you their experience and knowledge. Please give them a big round of applause for the two men. Well, George Bernard Shaw once also said that some men see things as they are and ask why, and others dream things that never were and ask why not. And I think that defiance, that sense of willingness to explore the uncharted lies at the core of immortal designs. After all, an idea that is not dangerous may not be an idea at all. So we all look to you to design our children's future and uh, your dreams and inspirations will fundamentally reshape how we live and where we live. So please get out there and start redesigning the world. And thank you and see you next year.